So let's try some more examples of creating box and whisker plots. Remember, you have to look at all of your data and you have to find your minimum, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, and maximum to use that to draw your box and make your whiskers. So for this data here, it is all lined up in order from least to greatest. So your minimum will be your lowest number, your maximum will be your highest number, your median will be the data point right in the middle, and then the lower quartile will be the median of your lower half of your data, and the upper quartile will be the median of your upper half of your data. So we have here the minimum of 26 and the maximum of 73. Those are usually your easiest, easiest to find because it's your lowest number and your highest number, and usually it's the number all the way to the left or all the way to the right when your numbers are listed from least to greatest. Now this median, there were an even amount of data points, so we had to find the mean between 43 and 44, which was 43 and a half, so it wasn't as easy to see. But then the lower quartile was 38 and the upper quartile was 56. So again, we have our minimum of 26 being the end of the left whisker, the maximum being the end of the right whisker. The median here is 43 and a half, and then we have the lower quartile of 38 and the upper quartile of 56. So there's your five important measures for your box and whisker plot on the box and whisker plot. So now let's try this example. So we have a different set of data. And again, when making a box and whisker plot, we want to find the minimum, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, and maximum. Now this has an even amount of data points, so finding our median and our upper and lower quartiles might take a little bit more work. We might have to find the mean of the number, but that's what we need to do, and that's what the numbers you still use for your box and whisker plot. So here the minimum is 107 and the maximum is 155, but like I said, because of the fact you have the even amount of data points, you have your median in between 144 over here and 145, so you need to do your mean of those two numbers, which is 144.5, and then your lower quartile is in between 132 and 134, so that is going to be 133, and then your upper quartile is in between 153 and 154, so that's going to be 153.4. Marking it on the graph, you have your minimum is your leftmost whisker, and the maximum is the rightmost whisker. The median is the line in between or the in the middle of the rectangle or your box. And then your lower quartile is the left part of your rectangle and the upper quartile is the right part or side of your rectangle or your box. So it doesn't matter if they're decimals or if it's not a part of the original data, these are still the five key features or centers of measure or measures of variability, whatever you're going to think of them as, these are the key five things you need in a box and whisker plot no matter what the data.